Right, what we're going to do is try and strip the Sturmy Archer hub. This one's already been taken off the wheel, obviously. Um, first thing to do is remove the rear sprocket. I don't know what you can see. Let's have a go. Spring clip there with a little screwdriver. Prise it off. It'll come off nice and gently if you chase it around, like so. Stick that in your bin for cleaning with the spacers and the sprocket. Next thing, remove all the nuts, toggle chains, spacers, washers, etc. All into the bin for cleaning. This hub appears to be working, but I just want to clean it up. Have a look inside and see how we get on. As you can see this hasn't been prepared, this is just how it's come out. Filthy dirty. And that needs a bit of why don't you get that off? I'm using no specialist tools really. You can buy the spanners. From all leading bicycle shops to remove the hub and stuff, um, I use basic tools. This one I bought as is. Um, I tend to remove the spokes rather than cut them out. As you can see, this one has just had the spokes cut out. One of those things. Right. What you do is you place the flange there into the vise. Get it nice and tight. And then, with a bit of luck, you can get your hammer and your punch into the little groove there and give it a crack. We'll see what happens. Let's read that. Next stage lock nuts. I tend to use a cone spanner, one side, 8mm spanner on the spindle to lock it and just undo it. It comes up quite easily. Once again it will go in the bin for cleaning and when I do the video how to rebuild it, all these bits will be nice and clean. Tiny screwdriver there just to get that lock washer up. Up and away into the bits of cleaning and the cones. This one will be under tension for a bit because there's a spring behind here. Don't worry, nothing's going to fly out. It'll only go so far. Some are worse than others. Some you have to use spanners all the time. Mostly you get away with doing it by hand. Wash, wash, wash. Flip it over. into the vise because I've forgotten to take the lock nut off.
quite important to remember, depending on what bike you're doing, the grifters are probably the worst. These spaces, there's two different size spaces. And once again I'll explain all that when we go to the rebuild. Let's get rid of them, make it damn so easy. Nice and tight, tight as you can get it. A little bit more of a tap now, just to make sure that's free. That bit nice and simple. They always look like there's a bearing missing in there. They always have that space there just to allow free movement of the bearings. In for washing. And then out comes the main internals. This one appears to be in fairly good condition. The most common fault on these hubs is a tiny, tiny hairsprings called R clips, which make the click sound. That one's working perfectly fine. As you can see, that one's a bit gummed up, purely due to lack of use. When we go through the cleanup, I'll show you what to do with that. So basically, all the parts into your parts bin for washing, and then we'll continue with the rebuild. <laughs> 